Greetings, welcome back. Riggs here, just getting back from doing a little uh, continuation of a project, which I'll show you in a second. But um, first, I want to... Well, first, I want to empty out my bags of all the random stuff that I just got. Um, so nice having a sorter that you can just kind of dump all the things that you know you're going to end up with more of. Um, but I have a map, a uh, little art project, which I have been... I cleared out this whole area in a desert, which I'll show you maybe at some point, but maybe, maybe not today. Um, and I'm going to do a big piece of art out there. Um, and yeah, it should be neat, but it's a big project. And <laughs> I wanted to show you the blank slate anyway. Um, the other thing I want to do is show you a, um, a rail line that I have built for this, this base. I have a map downstairs I can show you. Let's see. Go down the stairs here. Um, this is the base. We are standing, yeah, kind of right there. The little green dot is where the um, this map is. And I built a trail line which kind of connects the whole uh, thing. And I'll show you what I've done because I've had a couple of very important people uh, join the server. And um, I invited them to come and uh, build kind of near me. And what I did was I connected the rail line to their little beginning of a base, which is kind of fun to um, connect the two, uh, two new, two, the new build to my old build. Um, but I also thought it'd be fun to take a little rail line. Um, this is a thing I worked on before we had Elytra. Um, rail lines were kind of the most convenient way to get around. So this is the little mountaintop town we are right here now. And there used to be a bunch of villagers. I, I think things might have gone badly for them. Um, but I have these rails turned off, so it, they automatically stop here if you want to get out. And I was going to have, you know, villager trading up here. Man, there's none of them left. Hmm. Well, we'll have to do something about that someday. Um, but yeah, once you are done kind of doing your business here, you can get back in and you can press that, which powers the rail, brings you down here. And um, this beginning of a tower here, this whole ugly area was a big villager breeder. You can still see a guy hanging out by himself up with the doors. And then I went under the river, which is kind of fun. And then another villager trading area there. Oh, I jumped out before um, it, 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 it didn't. Uh, oh, it's turned. That's supposed to be turned off. Um, but yeah, some village. This is uh, some old villager trading. This guy has uh, raw diamond gear for, for sale still. Uh, kind of a relic from an older age. Um, I'm glad I still have a minecart. Uh, and I will continue through here to show you where this ends up. Um, and I did a little thing through the chorus farm here and uh, kind of wanted to make it more like a roller coaster kind of ride rather than just transport. So I went kind of sub. Nautica here <laughs> underneath the water and comes up through the paper and then down underground again to my old base. Um, let's see here. I guess I don't have a stop here. There's no reason to at this point. But uh, yeah, I had a little cow farm. Oh, there's the, a little backup of. Oh, I guess I need an extra rail line. So things have been broken here. Um, I can do that. No, I don't actually have. Of course, I don't have rail line on me. That'd be too way too convenient. But I'll pretend I did, and I'll just continue this way. Um, actually, let me show you where this is, just so you have a, a, a reference. Um, that's going to go on without me. That's fine. Go on without me. Uh, this is the old... Oh, I have an old sh shulker box here, too. Oh, hey, look, rail line. Uh, perfect. Um, let me just do a quick rep pair over here what I can do is hmm, do I have a lever lever on me well I'll, I'll, I'll fix this real quick. okay fix that uh, noticed I did have some redstone torches but I actually prefer to use the levers for a good reason for one they're you know slightly cheaper they don't use redstone if that's an issue but more importantly this little flicker which I like in certain circumstances um, actually takes a little bit of effort for the computer to make that uh, particle effect so it does create a little bit of lag and if you can turn on the rail just use, using a lever which is a very boring static uh, non-animated 
uh, thing, uh, it's easier for the computer to render that. So I prefer to use those when I can, um, which I generally can't. I'll push this thing along. Um, but yeah, this is the continuation. This leads to the little flower farm that I have over here um, for, oop, just zapped through the uh, floor there. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Uh, yeah, that didn't happen. I think uh, the reason is, is these aren't full blocks. I probably need to make these full blocks rather than the half slabs. And I just use a non-powered rail as a little break. And then if you're in the rail, you can just keep pushing if you wanted to. But this is where I get all the light blue dye. It's a little flower farm. Um, but continuing on, hope I don't get creepered um, in, in the nighttime. But yeah, the, um, these very special people decided to build kind of over here. Uh, I hope... I hope um, they they like the spot. I kind of helped them find it. Um, one thing I realized about survival Minecraft, you know, I have these these special people come onto the server, and uh, I want them to have a good time. And I've been here forever, so I have everything. And I realized that what I did was I kind of just gave them a bunch of stuff, and I thought I was being nice, but I also realized that you know the fun of survival is doing survival and you know going and punching your first tree and I mean the reason I love the game is that little progression and I realized that by giving them all that stuff kind of robbed them of it but I love you know sort of where they're starting just this nice clean birch and um, blue glass and uh, the slabs looks great and um, so I'm, I'm excited for them to be having fun but I also realized that um I, I just gave them. I wanted that they they were sort of new to the um, new stuff. They played a while ago, but hadn't played around with the elytra. So I gave them elytra, and I gave them all the diamond gear with all the everything. Um, but I realized that that sort of didn't even ask them if they wanted that, and I should have because you know uh, each person likes to play the game differently, and maybe maybe they don't mind skipping over all that stuff and just having fun and then just doing building, which is, you know, I enjoy that, but I also enjoy the progression. So uh, if for some reason they're watching this, um, you have option of throwing all that stuff out or uh, giving it back or, uh, or keeping it all and asking for more. And I've given them access to the stuff in my base, which I'm happy to share. Um, but yeah, I realized that, um, you know, if you're starting up with somebody new, you should kind of figure out whether or not helping them is actually helping them. That's true in real life, too, you know, I guess. You don't want to just give people everything they need. Um, sometimes it's more fun to work for it, right? Uh, I suppose. Um, anyway, uh, that's it for now. I'm going to go and um, do something else. Okay, but before I head out of here, I wanted to sort of finish off the little design I was doing, you know, trying to keep it really simple. Obviously, I'm doing the, the bottom half slab. That will be an unspawnable block because it's not the top slab. And then rail line is also uns unspawnable. So shouldn't that, that shouldn't be a problem. Then I also did sea lanterns where I was powering the rails. I think I did it every 10 blocks. So it should be well lit up anyway. Um, and then I just wanted to do these little supports, kind of make it look like it's being held up by these. And then I was adding these are a custom block for the server where if you do two half slabs and then right click on them, they become that really nice smooth block, which I, I like. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to finish off the details. And then I was also doing a little bit of terraforming here, just kind of trying to fill in a little bit of this um, and make it look a little bit more... I don't know, uh, a little more wild. So I was going to do some, just some paper over here. And I might do some seagrass and some kelp in the swamp just to make it look a little more, well, swampy, right? Um, but yeah, uh, that's it for now. And um, we'll see what's up next. And before I head out of here, I just want to show you what I did. A little dill terraforming kind of added some of the new 1.13 stuff to this area. The um, kelp and then some of the coral with the fans um, you can put the fans on the side of the blocks, too, which is kind of a fun little detail. I just did red and purple for no particular reason. Um, and I think I also said uh, sea lanterns. These are, of course, redstone lamps. But I used um, redstone blocks uh, to power the rails. Eh, you can barely see. I lost my jump. You can't see. Um, but, yeah, that, that also powers the redstone lamps, which is convenient. And then I added some sugar cane and um, some of the kelp over here as well just makes it a little bit more uh yeah more swamp like 
So, all right, back. Uh, I'm going to head off to base. All right, so just getting back to my base here, and I, I always like this uh, Aurora Borealis thing that I that I did. I sort of want to do more of that. But um, you know, one of the nice things about being on a server or having a world for a long time is kind of wherever you go, you have maybe continuations of projects that you can work on. You know, I was just flying back, and um, I kind of remembered this thing, which I will attempt to fly into to show you. Sorry for waving back and forth, but I'm trying to slow down a little bit. And I hope I don't hit my head and experience kinetic energy. But I've spent some time flying down here and, whoa, lava. Um, yeah, hey, that wasn't so bad. Um, using some TNT and some careful digging, well, not so careful digging, made this big sort of flying tunnel. Just a random sort of, again, a fun little thing to add to a base. Oh, I have a beacon set up over here. Um, but yeah, again, I, I just spent, found myself doing about another 10 minutes of digging because, um, you know, I was like, oh, yeah, I want to continue this. Um, and that's, you know, one of the you know, questions people ask is, you know, how, how, do you, how do you not get bored playing Minecraft? And um, my advice is uh, don't, don't ever finish anything. <laughs> then you can always go back and just keep working on it um, if you ever are sort of stumped for what to do next. The thing I do have to do is go back to the bounce house. I've been working over there. And I have to show you something. There was a little bit of an incident with water and carpets. Water does not like carpets. Um, and carpets do not like water. And that place was covered with carpets. And then I was pouring water. So you can kind of guess what might have happened. But boy, it got a lot worse. Let me show you. Okay, so here at the bounce house. And... Um, I had what I had thought was just sort of an interesting little design detail, kind of these water columns surrounding the island, sort of a really cheap, inexpensive way of uh, kind of making a wall around the outside. Uh, and I kind of alternated them so they looked like columns. But what happens when you have two water sources next to each other generally is they create a new one. Now, this is sort of different because there's no water underneath them. Um, or no, no blocks underneath them. But over here on these sides, I'll show you, I had um, still had this, this um, dirt block underneath. And so what happened was, uh, it's sort of hard to explain maybe, but two of the water sources joined up and started flowing this way. And once it got to the corner, it kind of expanded and we ended up wiping out lots of carpet. Um, you can see a big, big border around each uh, outside edge just got wiped out and filled in with water. It was like this big lake. Yeah, thou well, hundreds of carpets, maybe thousands of carpets. Um, yeah, it was very sad. I mean, whatever. Uh, it's no big deal. But um, I do have to redo a lot of this design. I mean, I guess I get a chance to do it a second time. It's not like I had a real set plan. Good thing. Um, but yeah, a setback if I want to keep this carpet, which I think I do, but yeah, it's a lot of work and luckily I have way too many sponges. So I just came over here and sponged it all up. So it could have been worse, but that is, uh, kind of what kept me busy for a little while. And I still have to do more of these water columns, which I think is, is a fun thing to kind of chip away at. Like I was saying, you know, a lot of the things that I do on this server, um, take a long time and I don't do it all at once obviously you know no matter how good you are at Minecraft um, unless you're doing some kind of crazy magic you can only place one block at a time um, you know you got to do one thing at a time that's true in life life lessons you know uh, you might have a lot of things to do a lot of things to get done and the 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 overwhelmed feeling you might get from like all those things on the list you know, I have to place thousands of blocks. I have to do thousands, hundreds of carpets. But really, you just do one, and then you do the next one, and then you do the next one. And before you know it, um, you've placed uh, thousands of carpets like I have. <laughs> so, um, yeah, little little, little bites in a big job um, get it done eventually. And it doesn't seem like a big deal if you don't try to do the whole thing at once. You just do one thing at a time. Knock it off your list. Ch -ch -ch. So anyway, 
Uh, I think that's about it. I, I, you know, try and keep these things short. And I know I haven't really, well, I, I did the bridge. That was pretty good. And, um, yeah, spent some time with the, the, the people that I love that have just joined the server. You can hear their heater turn on in the back because it's a chilly day here in Maine. Um, kind of a, actually a rainy day. It's uh, not quite freezing, but it's raining and it's going to be colder. So it's going to, it's like slush falling from the sky. And it's beautiful. And it's a Monday, of course. That means uh, my daughters will be spending the afternoon in the woods. I schedule a rainy day for all the Mondays that they spend in the woods. Isn't that nice of me? So, anyway, until next time, this is Riggs. Ooh, in the water there. Ooh, that was kind of cool. Ooh, I like that. Look at that. Ooh, well, let me do that again. All right, that's it for now. Love you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. We'll, we'll do some good things, uh, maybe on the single-player world, but um, until then, love you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.